All right, so let's get right into it. I have a printer here. Let me show you. Uh, one of my A1 printers, uh, there is a clog or uh, it's failing to extrude the filament here. Um, so this is the step that I, uh, how do I get out of this? Um, to basically fix and unclog the nozzle midprint. So you can see that it's uh, midprint um, right now. So first thing I'm gonna do is bump up the temperature, yeah, bump up the nozzle temperature all right, so these are the tools that I typically use. Um, I don't actually really need to use uh, these um, needle nose pliers, but I have them just in case. I typically just use my hands. Um, you'll need this, uh, the smaller uh, wrench here. Uh, it's kind of has some debris on it. You want to make sure that there's not really any debris on here. And then last but not least, I have a, a needle here. If I get that to focus. So I just use really, really it's just these two. And so typically what I'll do is I'll pop up the front housing. Um, I'll take off the sock. Uh, the printer right now is heating up. So I like to resume it and get the temperature up to at least uh, 250. And what I'll do here is um, I'll pause it. So I'll get the temperature up to 200, 250 C. I'll pause the printer so that it's not um, doing anything. All right, so the temperature is at 220C. I already kind of removed the front housing, the silicone sock, and then I pop out the nozzle. You have a good, uh, I would say about 10 to 15 seconds to do this. So I take uh, this down here and I just shove it into the nozzle. Um, I kind of cleared this already a little bit, but um, you'll see that basically I'm just trying to get the plastic out of the nozzle, out of the hot end, and um, there's some gunk that gets left over here that you can just clean off and do over and over again. Um, I also take a pair of uh, a needle here and stick it through the hot end as well, just to make sure that everything is out of there. And at some point you'll feel that uh, there's basically no plastic left in here. Um, it's basically frictionless. And again, you have about 20 seconds to do this. Uh, once that's done, I just put the nozzle back on and it's pretty much uh, ready to print or that kind of really cleans out the clog for the most part. Again, you want to get the nozzle as hot as possible uh, before doing this. So I had it at 220C. Um, but that's kind of the quick and dirty way that I do to unclog the nozzle sort of mid-print. Um, and then you'll get this error that's saying the uh, nozzle temperature problem. That's because you remove the hot end from the heating element. Uh, but once that's done, you can just hit play or start and it should unclog everything. All right, and this method works, I would say like 90% of the time. Um, you can see that it's unclogged and plastic is starting to come out of the hot end. Actually not yet, uh, but it did feed properly. And in a little bit, you'll see that it's gonna purge out the old filament um, in there. And this is how I do it mid-print uh, while the printer is still active. Again, you just want to make sure that the hot end gets hot enough where you can uh, push out the plastic with this piece of, uh, with the uh, smaller, um, I forgot what you call this, Allen, it's an Allen, Allen wrench key, whatever. Uh, so there it goes. You can see it's starting to purge out and the print has resumed or will be resuming in a second. All right, that's kind of the quick and dirty way that I do it. Uh, it's the same process for the P1 series printers as well. Uh, just heat up the hot end to like 250, you remove the two screws, and then you um, just plunge it with uh, that, um, that little wrench, the smaller wrench key. So yeah, sorry for the video, it's probably not the best video quality, um, but that's kind of the process. I don't actually have a P series printer that uh, it's clogged currently, so I can't really show you the process for the P-Series, but uh, it's kind of the same same process where you just heat it up and uh, you unclog it uh, manually while the, heater, while the extruder is hot. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this video.